It was one of the most devastating events in recent RGV history, leaving behind millions of dollars worth of damages, and some are becoming frustrated that not enough is done to prevent a future disaster. Tonight, Alfredo Cuadros meets one-on-one -on -one with the city of Mercedes to see what plans, if any, are in the works. It was one of the valley's most recent devastating disasters. Some areas experiencing over 15 inches of rain. Many parts of the Rio Grande Valley still recovering, but many are getting frustrated that despite the help, not enough is done to prepare for the future rain. Over the past few weeks, we've met with groups such as Make Westlaco Drain Again, and now Mercedes will drain again. They hold local officials accountable for the lack of preparation, in some cases asking for the resignation of various city employees. We reached out to community leaders to find what plans, if any, are in the works. Not just for Mercedes, but for a lot of other communities. Certainly the, the event was extraordinary. Having a 500-year storm does not happen every year, but we need to get better prepared for the next one. The Great June Flood was a wake-up call for the entire region. It has prompted increased preparation for the next heavy rains. In the upcoming days, the city manager tells us they're in the process of acquiring new vehicles like these to transport people or materials as needed. And uh, actually, I be, I'll be taking that to the city commission on Tuesday for ratification. I made the call to go ahead and signing it. I made the call to go ahead and securing it and, and expending the monies for it. Initially, it was $7,500 for that vehicle, which is very impressive. It has been cut down to $6,000, which we have appreciated that as well. Right now, local officials across the RGV working together with FEMA. But the city manager says the work continues. Uh, when we meet weekly and we follow up, things get done. Things do not fall through the cracks. From Mercedes, Alfredo Cuadros, KVEO, New Center 23. The next commissioner's meeting will be held this upcoming Tuesday. The city manager plans to discuss the emergency response vehicle.